Esta semana no Truques e Dicas continuamos em Madrid, no Wanda Metropolitano Casa do Atlético de Madrid e também o lugar da final da Liga dos Campeões para dar a conhecer mais algumas novidades do FIFA 19, nomeadamente o novo modo Kickoff e como vai terminar a caminhada de Alexander. Se na semana passada falámos sobre o facto de este ano o FIFA 19 ter a presença da Champions League, assim como da Liga Europa e da Super Cup, tal como todas as novidades de jogabilidade, hoje vamos perceber o que é isto do novo modo Kick-Off, mais uma vez com o Sam Rivera, produtor associado, e Tyler Blair, diretor criativo da EA Sports. So the intention is that when you play Kick-Off, there's more than just going to the game, finishing it, going back and doing it again. So that's why we're giving you, uh, first of all, the ability to track your stats. And second thing is just more match types. Um, and to mention some of them, which are very important, is uh, how, like house rules, we call it. And that gives you different ways to play with different rules. One of them would be survival mode. And what it is, is every time you score a goal, you lose one player. Sounds interesting, sounds different. And when you start scoring goals and you lose players and then you end up playing with, with seven players only, the gameplay experience is completely different. Seven is the minimum because that's, that's the minimum you can play in a, in a, in a regular FIFA game, like what, what FIFA uh, rules are. So when you get to seven, if you score again, and then you are going to win. So what's going to happen is that there, you need to adapt to play with so much space that you are not used to. And that adaptation is fun. You need to learn new things. Same when you play with no rules. Usually you're used to play with care carefully when you need to tackle so you don't foul the guy. Here you just go for the ball. Or you're usually careful to not pass to somebody that is offside. Here you can manually send somebody on a run. And then when he's very far away, do a pass, lock pass, and then he will be able to score. So you just need to relearn and then maybe he beats me always in regular FIFA, but when we play with house rules, then I can beat him because I know the other exploits because I'm faster at learning how to play the game in those rules. So it's very interesting. Poder jogar com novas regras ou mesmo sem regras não é a única novidade deste modo kick-off. Podemos também jogar uma final da Champions League sem ter de passar pelo torneio inteiro. In every final, there's there's different uh, things going on depending on the tournament you're playing, different trophies and stuff. So we wanted you to be able to experience that directly in kickoff mode without having to play entire tournament or entire mode. So that was the intention there, that you can experience the different packages that we have in the game, the presentation packages. Uh, obviously, the gameplay actually in the field doesn't matter uh, what mode you're playing. Gameplay is always the same. Uh, but what you see can give you a different experience. And that's something that I mentioned earlier. Like for, for example, for Champions League, when you're playing career mode, on the Wednesday or the day you're going to play, you start getting all the all the colors and everything reminding you is that match day, it's very important. So you start feeling it. And when you go into gameplay, just experience is so much more realistic with all the things that are happening in the field. É claro que se temos a Champions League este ano, no FIFA 19, temos que saber se a caminhada de Alexander passa pela final da Champions. E se isto estava planeado desde o início. From, from the beginning we thought it was it would be a good idea. Obviously all the licenses and everything, that's not a it's simple thing. You need to work with a lot of time. So the day we knew we would get Champions League it was right away. Let's let's make sure that Alex Hunter will be able to play, to experience uh, the Champion League. More details on how the licenses deals go, I, I, we, we usually don't share. Um, but yeah, but yeah, there will be, just by the way, there will be a lot of other things announced in terms of the journey, Alex Hunter. There's new features in the mode that I cannot mention yet. There's new uh, players you can play with, new characters you can play with in the mode. So you will hear about those at Gamescom. It will be the end, and just so you know, it was planned that way. And this doesn't mean it's the end of the mode. This just means it's the end of Alex Hunter's story. Tivemos ainda a oportunidade para conhecer a primeira mão as novidades do FIFA Ultimate Team deste ano, onde há grande novidade são os formatos das competições semanais a que teremos acesso. O novo modo Rivals fará com que todas as semanas lutemos por pontos para ser à competição de fim de semana, mas agora vais poder também guardar os teus pontos para entrares nessa competição quando quiseres. Imagina que este fim de semana não podes jogar. Guardas os pontos e na semana em que quiseres jogar, podes os utilizar. 
quando os fizeres, é claro, volta-se a ter que ganhar os pontos para entrar numa nova competição. No entanto, as várias competições têm recompensas e não são apenas FIFA Coins, porque podes ganhar packs específicos de cartas ou mesmo até essa entrada na competição de fim de semana. Tanto os grafismos das próprias cartas em si, como de abrir os vários packs que temos disponíveis, foram totalmente reformulados. Podemos também, para já, adiantar alguns dos ícones que vão estar presentes no FIFA 19 e neste FIFA Ultimate Team. Estamos a falar de Johan Cruyff, Canavaro, Lampard e sim, o nosso querido Eusébio. FIFA 19 vai estar disponível para PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC e Nintendo Switch no próximo dia 28 de setembro. Na próxima semana continuamos a rolar com a bola na relva, mas deixamos o estádio do Atlético de Madrid e rumamos à cidade do futebol para vos dar a conhecer o PES 2019. E temos muitas surpresas. Não percam! <música>